An intimate look at the international refugee crisis. As men, women, and children cross over European Today, borders. These refugees finished a perilous leg on their journey to freedom, packing these rickety boats from Turkey and arriving here on the Greek the island. Drownings at sea has mounted recently as weather in the Aegean has taken a turn for the worse. 16 people, including two infants and eight children, were confirmed dead, and 274 people were rescued. We'll take you overseas to Syria, where tonight we have a report of a dramatic development. President Bashar Assad now under such pressure from rebels, he is reportedly unleashing war planes on his own people. For thousands of years, Aleppo has been a vibrant commercial crossroads, but much of it now lies in ruins. Have been leaving the people there have not fled already are starting to stream out, raising the prospect of a new wave of refugees knocking on Europe's door for sanctuary. Some 3,000 families have left in the last few days, according to the UK-based Syrian Observatory. The war continues to take a toll on civilians as many homes have become have been destroyed by the conflict. This is where the vast majority of refugees arriving here come through. And we understand that between 400 and 600 refugees are arriving here every single day. Now, they all have to be registered and have their cases considered, but in the meantime, they also must be housed and fed. That requires a massive operation. <laughs> As you can see here, there are many thousands of uh, refugees around here living in the uh, tents, some small tents and some big tents over there. And uh, the tents are so crowded, so crowded of uh, many nationalities, they uh, live together. The health care is awful here. We don't have any uh, bath, any shower, we don't have any clean toilets, we don't have water. The problem is that uh, we think that the authorities here don't care about us. They don't care about us at all. You Europeans, you human rights activists, you don't want to hear, hear our voices. Because, because of this, we sound our lips. This is our protest. Nobody pay attention to us. We are all human. Look at this child. He's undernourished here. Last night he couldn't sleep because the weather was so cold. So. He has done nothing wrong. We are all human here. We are the same. We want a better life. We need our voice to be heard. All these people want to live in a free country. We're looking for a better life. We are looking for human rights. We are looking for democracy. We are looking for a place that they respect us as humans.